NTSB investigators have begun their inspection of that bridge that collapsed in Pittsburgh. The 50 year old Fern Hollow Bridge fell early Friday morning, sending a bus and several vehicles crashing into a ravine. At least 10 people were injured, including four who were hospitalized. No deaths reported thus far. The team from the National Transportation Safety Board is looking into the damage, trying to figure out what went wrong. They say it will be, quote, a long technical investigation. The bridge is a major thoroughway for commuter traffic, seeing more than 14,000 cars daily. And that bridge collapse dominated the agenda this weekend at the National Governors Association winter meeting in Washington, D.C. Governors from roughly 30 states, including Governor Jared Polis from here in Colorado, are attending. They heard from Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg today about how to fast track new federal money for road and bridge projects that was authorized as part of that bipartisan infrastructure bill. Governor Polis said it's important that we maximize money that's available to our state. The federal government passed a big bipartisan infrastructure package, and we passed in Colorado a bipartisan infrastructure package. Let's make sure we get the most value out of that for everyday Coloradans. This is the NGA's first in-person meeting since the pandemic. The meeting will wrap up tomorrow.